Yes, yes. Uh, okay, thank you very much for the invitation. Um, uh, yeah, uh, so um, I will start with um, recalling um, j just some very basic notions about secondary characteristic classes uh, without going into any det details. Uh, so, first, if X is uh, C infinity manifold and uh, E nabla is a flat uh, complex uh, vector bundle, uh, I mean, a vector bundle with flat, flat connection, then uh, we have uh, secondary classes which, which live in. Uh, so CI check uh, lives in uh, H to I minus one uh, of X with coefficients in C mod Z. Uh, yeah, if it's if it's unitary, then uh, uh, if if if, if there is some in invariant uh, metric, that, uh, Hermitian metric, then it's actually R mod Z, but in general it's C mod Z. And uh, 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 well, C one. For example, is given basically uh, so first homology is just the same as home from pi one of x to c star, and you just take the deter determinant of, of the associated uh, representation of the fundamental group. Uh, so the, the, these guys are equal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, and uh, uh, also I will need more generally a um, um, version for uh, uh, so version for not non-flat. So number squared is, is non-zero. Then um, also you have uh, secondary classes which uh, live in so-called uh, differential characters. X with coefficients in C mod Z. Uh, ah, yeah. First, maybe I should recall that uh, uh, if you take a direct sum of H n minus one of X with coefficients in C mod Z, then this is a non-unitary ring uh, graded, uh, and it's just because it is the same as the homology of. Uh, the fiber, homotopy fiber of the map from Z to C. I mean, it's the easiest way to uh, to explain this. Uh, is it clear? No, I have no idea. What that's uh, no, I, I'm just taking uh, homology of X with coefficient in C mod Z, and I shifted by min, uh, by minus one. Uh, it is the same as homology of X with coefficients in fiber product of Z and zero over C. It's just. Uh, uh, because uh, you can take homotopy fiber product in the category, in the category of non unital DG rings. So, so you get. Uh, uh, of rho, uh, rho, uh, this is rho, yeah, and rho is associated, uh, so rho from pi 1. Yeah, just asso associated with this flat bundle. <coughs> yeah, okay, and uh, more generally, uh, if the bundle is non flat, uh, uh, it also has uh, its characteristic classes, which live in differential characters. This is much larger uh, abelian group. Um, I mean, <coughs> one way to define it. Uh, uh, I mean, ar uh, I mean, its original way of Chigger and Simons uh, is uh, to consider so H uh, uh, and minus one hat X coefficient C mod Z. It's a subgroup of uh, Homes from uh, n minus one cycles of X, I mean singular cycles, uh, to uh, C mod Z, uh, and uh, it's considered. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you can actually embed uh, a K. You can embed differential complex valued forms uh, inside uh, singular co-chains of X with coefficients in C mod Z. Just by integration, and it's embedding for k positive. And uh, 
you just consider uh, uh, those uh, uh, functionals on cycles with uh, values in C mod Z such that their uh, differential is contained, uh, is, is actually a differential form uh, embedded into this uh, single so local cycle. I, I, I mean, just, just the differential forms. I mean, to, to distinguish from holomorphic. I will have holomorphic forms. So, uh, yeah, this will be holomorphic, and A stands for uh, C infinity, just C infinity. So, the is now complex manifold? No, at, at the moment, it's uh, just C infinity manifold. So, at the moment, I, I'm not using this omega. No, I, I, but then it will become, then it will become complex manifolds. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, no, no, I j just uh, integrate and take uh, values mod z. It's, uh, it's uh, inclusion because, yeah, for, for k positive. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, this is not the most uh, simplest way, uh, the most simple way to define this. Uh, I, I mean, from this definition, it's not, it's not obvious that uh, the direct sum will be a, a graded ring, for example. Uh, and uh, just the more natural way to do it is uh, just to take, um, uh, you just introduce addition, additional variable t and uh, basically you, you take z of t uh, uh, o, o, uh, over the RAM algebra, uh, uh, also t attached, and uh, Riis algebra of the stupid filtration, uh, ju just the direct sum of uh, uh, st stupid truncations of the drum complex, and uh, basically uh, uh, you can take its cohomology, uh, and uh, uh, th this is bigraded, bigraded non-unital ring, and uh, inside it you have diagonal part. Uh, which exactly equals this direct sum of h hat n minus 1 of x with coefficients in c mod z. So this is kind of, yeah. Uh, yeah, just, just, uh, the, uh, just copies, of, copies of z uh, in each non-negative degree. And uh, here just... Uh, then what's the right of the, of the uh, final product? Here, a algebra of the filtration. Okay, okay, I, I can write. <laughs> The direct sum of non-negative uh, n uh, uh, a greater or equal than n x. I mean, it's, it's straightforward to, to, to see that the diagonal part of this bigraded stuff is exactly this uh, differential ca characters. Uh, no, for the link homology, you, you actually need omega uh, and, and uh, do, do a similar thing. Yeah. Yeah, but conceptually, conceptually, it's exactly this, uh, the same. Yeah, if you do if you do everything in homomorphic setup, then you get exactly the link homology. Yeah. And, and and this also explains what, why it has a natural product. And, and uh, yeah. so in your initial definition, there were cycles. I mean, uh, yeah, but it's it's just uh, yeah, it's it's just a way a way to compute. You you need to take the fiber uh, of cohomology with z coefficients so with c coefficients. Yeah, when, when you do this, you you just arrive into. I mean, th that's uh, how it was defined originally in Chigurh Simon's paper, but I think this is, uh, just clarifies why there is a product. Because he, they, they need some complicated combinatoric with cubical chains to define the product, but in fact it's just, it's just this. Uh, you still do not understand what you mean by AKX. It's just you assume that there are some subsets. No, it's C infinity differential forms. C infinity differential forms, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. AKX is uh, uh, just uh, lambda K. Yeah. T star x uh, complexified. So why the right hand side? Uh, oh, can you turn it all light? Ah, is it, is it, is it visible? Here. Uh, maybe here? Ah, that's it. Okay. okay. So what is this C, C star x C over Z? Uh, uh, single single local chains. Single local chains. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I understand. Yeah. And the inclusion is by integration. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And, and what's the, the cross tilde? Is, is the derived tilde product? Cross H. I'm sorry, it's H. Homotopia, homotopia fiber product, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, comparison of this and this is straightforward exercise. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, yeah, so, so uh, for non-flat, uh, the, uh, yeah. For non-flat bundles, the classes live here, and actually, it is, yeah. What's the map from? 
Z is just uh, uh, goes into constants here. Yeah, yeah, and this is just inclusion of the stupid filtration. Yeah, uh, and uh, mm, uh, uh, there is actually uh, uh, a short exact sequence. Uh, so you start with cohomology with uh, C mod Z coefficients, then you go into differential characters, uh, uh, and then. Uh, then you arrive into uh, n forms which are uh, closed uh, with integer periods. So this, you have this short exact sequence, and and basically uh, when you, I, I mean, projection to these closed forms is, it is exactly the Chern-Weil form of uh, of the connection divided by power of two pi. Uh, okay, so so this is kind of s s standard, uh, and. Uh, uh, also, yeah. Uh, also, I should recall uh, the linear homology. Uh, <coughs> so, if x, let, let's say that uh, x is complex projective for simplicity, uh, then. Uh, yeah, there's exp exp uh, uh, let's denote this uh, z, z of p to be 2 pi i to the power p uh, times z so it's inside, inside complex numbers and uh, there is uh, uh, just a similar definition of uh, 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 where you re replace infinity forms with holomorphic and more, more explicitly you just take z of p sub d to be uh, just the complex Z goes to uh, complex of shifts. Z goes to holomorphic forms uh, uh, of uh, degree at most p, p minus one, and uh, and uh, and then take homology of x analytic with coefficients in Z of p sub d. <coughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, z of p here. Um, yeah, inclusion into constants. Yeah. Uh, so, and uh, this is uh, by graded ring, uh, and uh, it ca uh, can be defined uh, very similarly. I mean, in fact, in the paper of Bellinson, for example, it's uh, just defined in this way. Um, um, okay, and uh, if uh, E is a holomorphic vector bundle on X, then uh, we have uh, the line uh, churn cycles, OH churn classes of E, which live in, uh, so CP lives in H to P, with coefficients in uh, Z of P sub D. Did you explain how to make this thing? Or? No, no, I didn't. Uh, uh, no, but uh, I mean, it's, it's functorial and uh, it's uh, uh, so, so this um, uh, uh, these classes are defined uh, uniquely by the property that uh, they are functorial and they, that they lift Chernwil form uh, by this map and uh, they all, they lift the standard ch the usual Chern class uh, when you project to, to Z uh, and uh, to construct you just need the existence of universal connection which is known uh, uh, yeah and uh, this is also constructed by universality essentially. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so, so I mean, th th there's a unique way to define these things uh, if you require or, I mean, the minimal uh, pr properties which we want to be satisfied. Uh, uh, okay, uh, and uh, uh, also, uh, Yeah, also you have the obvious projection from <coughs> homology with C mod Z coefficients. It's uh, just the same as the homology of the complex Z goes to holomorphic Durham complex. Uh, so it projects to homology of uh, uh, Z uh, to omega X at most P minus one. 
And uh, you can just multiply by to pi i to the power p, uh, get into uh, a cohomology of uh, zp. Uh, so I mean, OK, let's put here 2p minus 1. Uh, uh, 2p. Uh, and uh, under this projection, uh, this uh, C, mm, uh, Cp hat of E nabla, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, if we assume that if uh, e, e nabla is flat holomorphic, which I, I will assume from this moment, uh, well, mostly. Uh, so under these assumptions, uh, Cp hat of E uh, nabla just goes to Cp delin of E, which is also not, not, not hard to check. Um, OK, now uh, what I want to do with this uh, uh, invariance. Uh, so there is a, a classical uh, uh, theorem by, by Reznikov uh, which states that uh, these classes are actually uh, torsion uh, if we are living on uh, complex projective, uh, small complex projective variety uh, and uh, we have flat holomorphic uh, bundle. Uh, I mean, to torsion, I mean, starting from C2. So let's uh, formulate this. Uh, well, it's just, uh, I mean, it's just conventional. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, when, when you, when you do take, take naively the chern form, uh, just trace of the exterior, exterior power of the curvature, you, you get, uh, you need to divide by, divide by 2 pi i to the power p to get integer class. It's, it's, I mean, it's just conventional. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Theorem of uh, Sasha Reznikov uh, states that uh, let X uh, be complex projective uh, E nabla holomorphic uh, flat vector bundle, uh, then Uh, this uh, C I hat. Is there a difference between flat and just flat? Well, uh, I mean, uh, I, I can I could just take any C infinity bundle and yes. uh, C infinity connection. Yes. But, but here it's important that it's holomorphic, uh, I believe. But if the connection is flat. Well, okay, you know, you're right. Of course, of course, of course. By Raymond Hibbert, I mean it's, it's all the same. Yeah, uh, you're right, but. Uh, but la later on, I will be dealing with log logarithmic connections, so the, uh, then I will require, yeah. But of course, here it's, it's we start with a representation of the fundamental group, so it's not important what we take, yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, uh, and uh, then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is a yeah, yeah. And, and uh, Nabla is a Hilbert bundle. Yeah, yeah. And Nabla is both holomorphic, it's a holomorphic connection, which is also flat. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. But I mean, by Raymond Hilbert, you st starting from uh, representation, uh, uh, from any representation of a fundamental group, you, you construct. I mean, what's. So if I mean, you switch the meaning of connection, it's a complex connection. Oh, okay, you know, but I mean, uh, the, the bar, I mean, zero one component is, is e equals to the bar. I mean, you can, you can as as assume this. So there is no problem with that. Uh, <coughs> so uh, then, uh, this, this classic uh, classes are torsion. Uh, so they actually live in h to i minus one facts with coefficients in q mod z for uh, i starting from two, and uh, uh, and corollary of this is that under these assumptions, uh, uh, the linear chain classes are also torsion uh, for i greater than one, and this was. Uh, uh, this was actually block conjecture uh, before this theorem. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, I, I will uh, say something about the proof, but uh, first I will uh, 
uh, explain uh, what I'm interested in here. So uh, there is a logarithmic version of, of this problem, which is still, uh, uh, I mean, it wasn't solved uh, by now, uh, uh, where uh, you allow logarithmic singularities and uh, you require uh, to have unipotent residues, uh, I mean, equivalently unipotent monodromy. Uh, along the, uh, I mean, for the small circles, uh, circles around the divisors. And uh, it turns out that uh, you can still define uh, the uh, secondary classes in this uh, framework, but uh, I mean, the problems, pro problem becomes uh, uh, much harder, actually. Uh, so I, I will uh, now move, move to this. And then, then I, I will also comment on the proof. Uh, Uh, I will, uh, 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 I mean, I, I should uh, also mention, uh, well, uh, f first, uh, they're quite interesting because, uh, because of rigidity. I mean, I, I should mention, I should have mentioned this earlier. So th there's r rigidity, I mean, uh, uh, so this uh, assignment, uh, so you take representation of a fundamental group and you assign to it uh, uh, secondary classes of uh, the associated flight, flight bundle. Then this is uh, locally constant on uh, representation variety of pi one of x. Uh, so I mean, uh, which is qu quite easy to uh, to see from the variational formula. I mean, when you deform bundle with connection, yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it just means that uh, for any connect connected components, you have uh, fixed class. I mean, just uh, knowing, th knowing that the distortion is uh, quite I I interesting, yeah. Uh, yeah, also, I, I mean, uh, obviously, if you have at least one flat connection, then, uh, of course, the usual churn classes are torsion. And uh, it's also interesting to know that the Deline churn classes are, are torsion as well. Yeah. So, I mean, this is quite a nat natural question to ask here. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, so uh, now uh, uh, l let's move to, uh, the, uh, to the logarithmic generali generalization. So suppose that uh, we have now, uh, 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 so that uh, x is complication of u, so I will assume that x is projective, and uh, x minus u is divisor with uh, si simple normal, normal, normal crossings. SNC divisor. So uh, I'm starting with uh, uh, so uh, so to take a representation of pi one of u. Uh, 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 which is uh, unipotent at infinity. Uh, th this just means that, uh, so you take some di and you take sm small circle around it. I mean, the conjug conjugate class doesn't depend on the choice, so you, you just require it to be unipotent. Um, then, uh, uh, then uh, one can still define uh, I, uh, yeah, uh, okay, so, so uh, I'm taking uh, this reputation and uh, uh, I'm taking the associated holomorphic, holomorphic flat vector bundle and uh, I'm taking its uh, unique uh, logarithmic extension, logarithmic extension to x. Yeah. Uh, once again, uh, for each divisor, I'm taking a, taking a, take a small loop, loop around the divisor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so maybe some combination of them wouldn't be in the uh, Well, it's not so important. Uh, uh, no, the question is only only about. Well, I, I will formulate it in, also in terms of Katanakayama space spaces, where, where it will be perhaps more clear. I mean. Yeah, but the condition is only, only this, yeah, no, nothing else. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, then, 
yeah, so we, we take this uh, local extension and uh, then one can still define, uh, and this was done actually by Anor uh, and also Deline, uh, but uh, Deline, I mean, it, it, it exists only in, uh, in a letter. Uh, and uh, also by actually uh, Eyer and Simpson, who, who actually started con to consider this uh, situation uh, uh, for, uh, so, so, so th they considered it only when, when D is smooth. And uh, uh, not defined it uh, in, in the general case, and Deline uh, also defined it in general case by C infinity methods. And uh, Anon used uh, only algebraic uh, theory, I mean algebraic, algebraic differential characters to do this. So, what, 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 uh, define, what, define, define what? yes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, one can still, still define the secondary classes of uh, this logarithmic extension, which live in uh, h to i minus one of x with CMOZ coefficients. And uh, they uh, lift actually both, so you have projections to uh, h to i minus one of u with CMOZ coefficients. And uh, to h to i, uh, probably I, I should rewrite it uh, here. Uh, Yeah, so, so there is uh, h to i minus one of x with c mod z coefficients. You can restrict to u uh, with c mod z coefficients. And also you can project to uh, the line cohomology. And uh, this class, ci of e bar now the bar, it lifts uh, both the CI hat, both CI hat of uh, E nabla, I mean on the open part, and uh, it also lifts the uh, the line chain class of E bar. So uh, there's a natural uh, logarithmic uh, version uh, of this uh, invariant, but uh, under the important assumption that, uh, that the monodromy is unipotent. And uh, so uh, there is an initial question, uh, are these invariants actually torsion? So question, uh, are this C uh, I hat for i greater than one. So, um, uh, uh, okay, uh, so uh, uh, here uh, uh, there is a, a result of uh, there is a theorem uh, of E. Here, Simpson Uh, that uh, actually the answer is yes. So, under under these assumptions, uh, uh, yes. Uh, but uh, uh, if uh, but o only if d is uh, smooth. So if uh, d is smooth. Uh, then uh, these classes are actually torsion. For i greater or equal to. Yeah, and uh, uh, I'm going to, to explain, uh, uh, well, it's uh, almost a theorem, so let's put it like quite a theorem. Uh, 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 that uh, 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 everything holds. Yeah, and this is actually 2007. And uh, I mean, all, all, actually all the things, the, the paper, the, the Lynch letter, and uh, the, uh, the Eno, Eno 
uh, paper defining uh, these classes in general uh, without that smoothness assumption. Uh, yeah, and uh, theorem is everything holds in uh, for a general uh, SNC divisor D. Uh, yeah, and uh, so uh, I will sketch this. And uh, I, I will explain the most interesting new ingredient here, which, which was somehow not, not, not so easy uh, uh, to come up with. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, when you do delete cohomology in this log setting, do you use usual uh, homology? No, uh, but I, I'm, taking, uh, uh, I'm taking the bundle on, uh, on x. And uh, so, a bar is a bundle on x, and x is projective. So I don't need to take the log forms. I'm, I'm just take, taking. It's not Delin Bellinson. It's just Delin homology for X. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, to explain w uh, what is the new ingredient and how you do this, uh, I should recall uh, how Resnikov theorem is proved. And uh, so I will first sketch this uh, very briefly. So, uh, Reznikov's proof. So, first, uh, uh, assume, so we may assume that uh, by, rigid, by rigid, rigidity, we may assume that uh, our representation rho is uh, actually uh, uh, with, uh, uh, is actually algebraic, I mean, defined over Q bar. That rho goes to, from P1 of X to GL R of Q bar. And uh, uh, by rigidity statement, uh, that uh, if, I, if I deform rho, uh, this uh, secondary classes, they don't change. They depend only on the connected component. I, I mentioned this earlier. O o only on the connected component of the representation variety of pi1 of x. But for C1? Uh, no, no, I, I mean, rigidity, uh, I mean, everything is stated only for uh, C, uh, st starting from C2. I mean, C C1 can be arbitrary, of course, yeah, because you can take any uh, flat line bundle. So you, you can get arbitrary. Uh, uh, because in the variation, variation, variational formula, uh, the, the curvature will occur when you deform the connection for, uh, yeah, and uh, if, if, if curvature is involved and uh, everything is flat, so I mean, uh, the, the, uh, uh, just the derivative of this classes in the in the differential characters it will be zero, so it, it's constant. It doesn't depend. And so inside each component of the modular space, you can find a point that's defined over Q bar. Yes, yes, because it's just a break variety uh, defined over Q. Uh, okay, uh, and and of course uh, because uh, the group is finally generated, so of course I can factor it through uh, so some number number field. No, I mean just representation space uh, of uh, a group. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. that is another. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I, uh, everything can, uh, is. Uh, uh, I, I can assume that everything is defined over some uh, number field. So F uh, number field. Uh, then. Uh, 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 I mean, by uh, Belenson and by Jolie Soleil. Uh, so uh, uh, th there are actually uh, universal classes, universal CI hat, which live in the homology of uh, classifying space of uh, GL of C considered as a discrete, discrete group. So it's usually, I mean, they, they put a, a delta here to stress that it's a discrete, discrete group. So I, I take classifying space and uh, take C mod Z uh, homology and there are universal classes which live here and uh, yeah actually imaginary part of CI bar uh, is uh, known so it lives in the real homology and uh, it's known as volume regula regulators uh, barrel volume regulators uh, 
Uh, and uh, uh, actually, uh, the classes, the, this uh, Chigger Sinus classes, they're, they're uh, actually given by pullback. So, uh, Uh, so ci hat of e rho nabla rho uh, is given by uh, uh, say f rho star of of this universal classes where f rho is a map from x to this classifying space which is defined uh, up to homotopy uh, and uh, now, uh, uh, because uh, uh, this representation uh, takes values in the number field, I can actually factor. Uh, so uh, I, I know that uh, now I have a map actually to BGL. Uh, well, now it's, it's of course discrete because it's just number field. BGL of F. Uh, uh, this goes to B. Uh, yeah, and uh, I didn't say it, but I can redu reduce everything to the case of SL. Uh, just assume that it's unimodular, and uh, and then uh, I know that. Uh, so I, I want to claim that uh, uh, image of the uh, integer cohomology in odd degrees uh, with integer coefficients uh, is just torsion. So it's claim. Uh, of f. So th this is torsion. Uh, so I mean, uh, if you know this, then then you know the torsionness for uh, secondary classes. And uh, to know this, uh, you basically uh, reduce everything to the uh, to this volume regu uh, re regulator. Yeah. Homology, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, homology with C mod Z coefficients is the same as home from homology to uh, to C mod Z because C, C mod Z is injective abelian group. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah so, so you need to know this that this guy is torsion, and uh, and basically uh, by Barrel, uh, you know that uh, H uh, uh, of so Barrel. The Barrell's result, you know that uh, the homology of BSL of F with, uh, with R coefficients actually is uh, generated by uh, sigma star of, of this volume. Uh, if we don't know this guy by volume element uh, of the volume element where sigma runs over all non conjugate embeddings. Of f into complex numbers. Oh, yeah, this is on the hmm? yeah, but I'm taking a cell. Yes, yes, a cell uh, without subscript means infinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, so everything is reduced. Uh, so everything is reduced to just a statement about this volume regula regulator. So we, we care only about this. Uh, um, imaginary part, and uh, and this is uh, uh, this uh, is done by uh, certain uh, differential geometric argument. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm confused. Yes. Why do we care about really
and the uh, uh, result of uh, uh, the theorem of mine, which, which I need uh, to, uh, to do this, is uh, about uh, the continuous piece theory of the state degree. Now, now 
essay will stand. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no, because M was abstract finds the other components. Here I just uh, addition of some kind of uh, uh, yeah, uh, so uh, I have the projection and uh, I, 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 I just uh, take some auxiliary realizable uh, category to finally get uh, my map, namely uh, I'm taking C inside shifts on uh, shifts of vector spaces on the Katnakaian space uh, such that, so if this is pi, the projection uh, so it's uh, such complexes of shifts f uh, such that uh, there are restrictions to the fibers of each point uh, uh, is uh, locally constant I mean it has locally constant homology with locally unipotent monomer Uh, local operator on different dimensional spaces, hopefully you can put it to the subject one and uh, apply uh, some power. I mean, it's, some, some, each element, element is killed by some power. Uh, so uh, you, you take the subcategory and then, uh, then you have. Then you have the pullback factor from shifts on X actually to uh, which uh, I mean to shifts on Kafnagan space, but, but it arrives into C because it's, it's just quantum on the fibers. Uh, and this is uh, hyperstar is strongly continuous. Because ju just because the map is proper. Uh, and uh, because pi, pi is proper. And, uh, and uh, it, it gives uh, isomorphism on the continuous T theorem. Uh, and here I am applying my general theorem and uh, the research, uh, I mean, I can now apply the research at each point of X. So uh, I'm getting isomorphism uh, between continuous T theory of shifts on X uh, and T theory of C. So this is just an isomorphism. Uh, uh, and, and now finally, uh, so uh, my uh, raw, let's say, E, uh, if I'm taking, uh, if I'm taking the representation of by one of you with the important monitor of the uh, then it, it uniquely extends to Katana uh, Nakayama space uh, because it's a kind of equivalence. Uh, and uh, uh, and it, it lives in this category C. And moreover, it is compact object. And now, a uh, compact object always gives you a class in K0 of C, which is the same. A related compact object? Uh, I mean, uh, it's uh, easy to see that uh, fine dimensional systems are compact objects uh, whenever you are looking something compact. If your base is compact, Compact object gives you a class in K0 continuous of C, uh, which is the same as K0 continuous of shifts vector spaces on X, which is the same as homotopy classes of maps from X to Z equals uh, uh, G of F plus. And so, so finally, we get, uh, get, get an issue. I mean, the map to Z is, of course, just the right. And we get our map, and uh, this, uh, uh, yeah. So now you can also define this. Uh, uh, how, how do you get this delta? Hmm? I mean, have you written BGL without the delta? No, but I mean, if f is abstract field, then that's good. I mean, I put data just to distinguish between discrete and continuous. Uh, yeah. Uh, so so uh, now uh, I can define this. I mean, I don't know the definition to be uh, just for X uh, this F row of the universal classes and this uh, agrees uh, with, which is 
also, uh, of course, as it needs to be shown, I mean, it's, it's not easy to just increase these uh, definitions of uh, constructions of unknown and uh, the link with this class. Yeah, uh, after that, you can uh, uh, run the same thing, but uh, also that there are technical complications uh, and for the steps. And you need to use Machizuki to reduce the the uh, relationship of post structures to this non compact case and also, I mean, rigidity uh, also, also in, you, you need to, to show rigidity, but that it, it can be easy. Uh, so the main application was actually this, and probably it can be done without all of this whole machinery, this uh, continuous case theory. Uh, yeah, but I mean, uh, uh, this is just the most natural way to do it, and, uh, 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 yeah, and, and here, this universality is uh, easy. Uh, okay, so I think that's it. Thank you. Questions? Can we replace projected with header in the layer? Well, in fact, uh, in fact, ready to see it also calls for killer, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, 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 well, I'm not sure what the very good is about. And then you need to at some point. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy to do it. No, I, for my for my construction, you, uh, it's essentially topological. Uh, and mm -hmm. my construction, uh, of course, works for Kitter. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, but, but you need also to do something else. I mean, it's not 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 the only thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mean, for my construction, you, you essentially can consider uh, infinity set up with for dimension two separators here. So some kind of topology. Other questions? So let's thank Sasha again. <laughs> and we will resume at two.